And then there was one back where the season, or as the season comes to a conclusion for season 27, here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway in the running of the Napa Know How 500, as we're down to the final 50 laps of the season. And the championship battle, well, down the two drivers basically, but uh, points battle, of course, ballooned to 100 points after race at Phoenix International Raceway, where we saw a first time winner in Angel Navarro. But the points battle, well, Kyle Menders has, has pulled ahead by 100 points to to take to lead by 100 points over the second place runner Jessica Shelton. As you see the starting field for this race at Atlanta here, how will the championship battle shake out? Well, we'll find out in the 50 laps that will ensue here today. But we better remember there's still 38 cars, other cars in this field, so we so there's much a race for there's a battle for the race as well as a battle for the championship as well too. So let's not forget. <clears throat> On the pole for this race here today is Nathan Hudson in car number 18. He's alongside number 12, Mitchell Collins in the Pennzoil Dodge. Great call by from Mitchell. His first front row start, I believe, this season outside of the dual races, believe it or not. Second row seat car number. 11, Jessica Shelton in the Bud Light Ford. She's alongside 03, Charles Sanford in the, in the Coca-Cola uh, Chevrolet. Charles has won twice this season. He won at Talladega and Sonoma. Jess won at Martinsville and a dual race at Louisville Motor Speedway. Second row, or third row, I should say, sees Kyle Matthews in the number 9, Melly Yellow Punnett, the championship leader coming in this race here. He's won twice this season at North, at North Wilkesboro and at IRP. He sits by Joshua Osborne in car number 10, the driven the Honor Chevrolet. Joshua won a dual race at San Air. Next row, he's Zach Rogers going for the Atlanta sweep. He's third in the points coming in this race in the Burger King Dodge. He's alongside car number 2, Dylan Young. Dylan won at Homestead this season. Zach's also other win, by the way, came at, at Riverside. <clears throat> Next row, he's car. Next row, he's Kev Shear in 69, the winner this season at Richmond. He's alongside number 70, Kat Batson, who won the other visit to North Wilkesboro in the Jelly Belly Jelly Beans Ford, car number 70. Next row down, he's car number 25, Seth Cole in the Flat Art Racing Network Chevrolet. He's alongside Angel Navarro in car number 44. This is the line of designs New York Rangers Punnix. Angel, as we mentioned, won it at Phoenix, the last race on the tour. <clears throat> Next up is car number 43, Mike Becker, and number 24, Tower Deaver. Next row, Johnny Gardner, two-time winner of the season so far. He won it. He won at Bristol, and he won the day race at Bristol. He also won at Rockingham. Goalie Food Chevrolet is alongside Cole Baker, and number 20, the Dollar General T Chevrolet. Next row, car number 20, uh, car number 22, Dylan Poteet, and number 84, Cassie Dent. Next row down has number 42. It's Nikki Martinez and. The local Georgia boy, Cole Deaver, in car number three, the GM Goodwin Chevrolet. Car's going to be Wrangler as the sponsor next season, and still going to be Chevrolet, and still going to be number three as well, too. Next row down, he's car number 59, Zachary Fitzwater, in the Marina Fox Foundation Dodge. He's alongside Zach Winkle in number 97. Next row down, he's, he's the Pepsi 400 winner, Kate Anderson, in number 88. She's alongside Matt McIntyre, number 14. He'll be driving the Piedmont Airlines Chevrolet next season. Next row has number 48, Jay Jefferson, and number 17, it is Jesse Turner. Jesse won a season at California Speedway this season. He's a lot, our Next row down has the winner, also race winner, Matt Haas, and alongside Jordan Anderson, the Mopar Dodge. Next row down has Taylor Gerdeson, 41, and 01, Jake Emerson. Next row has number 5, Phil Parker, who won the other dual race at Montreal. He's alongside number 89, it is Quentin Moore. Quentin, a three-time winner season so far. Next row has two-time winner this season, season Levi McIntyre. Levi won at Nashville Super Speedway. He also won on the road course at Watkins Glen. In car number 99, Mason Woods is alongside of him in 52. Next row has Rob Evans in 19 and 76. It is Ty Dent. Next row, Trent Denham in number 1 and number 30, Ryan George. Trent won a season at the Brickyard 400. And starting shotgun of field will be William Brock at number four. And coming from way out back, number four in the points today, Daytona 500 champion, Keith Batson. So the field lined up for racing here today. For the final time we, in season 27, we will get the command to fire the engines for the Napa Know How 500. Command given the party engines as the field here for this race here today. And the field as the field rolls off a of pit road. 
Here, as the field rolls off a pit row, we'll, we'll get the green flag right after this. Field rolls through turns three and four here in car cameras today will be carried by, well, two of our points containers, Jessica Shelton in the 11 and Kyle Matthews in the 9. The third camera will be carried in Kate Anderson's car, the number 88 Goodwrench Chevy. As the field rolls through turns number three and four, Nathan Hudson on the pole, qualifying with, uh, qualifying with a speed of a thundering 198 miles an hour, a very fast track here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. We're expecting to see some pretty good racing here today. As the green flag flies, the Napa Know How 500 is on. 50 laps remain on the season. Kyle Matthews, of course, uh, as we mentioned, the points leader by 100 points over Jessica Shelton. Matthews will need to finish 25th or better if Shelton leads the most laps and wins the race in order to win the championship. Shelton wants to get those five points and offset that. As they come through turns number, as they come on turn number four, it's going to be Nathan Hudson leading the first lap of this race here at Atlanta. Mitchell comes in second. Shelton is in third position. Fourth is now Matthews. Fifth is Charles Samper, who's about to lose a spot to the car of Zach Rogers, riding on board with Jessica Shelton in the number eleven Bud Light Ford. Jess will be driving the number nine Coors Ford next season on her um, in season twenty eight. Shelton now up to second position now. Up ahead again, Nathan Hudson, the leader of this race in the Interstate Battery of Chevy. Second lap by Hudson, 197.264. We mentioned a very fast racetrack here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Always has been in a series for that back, too. <clears throat> and here comes Kyle Matthews. The man just can't stand it. He just wants to race. The man from the state of Ohio. Going to the low side of Shelton for the lead. Or for second place, I should say. Excuse me. And we talk about somebody who's closed in, uh, closed in a little bit points-wise. Though Zach Rogers, we mentioned, we mentioned it was going to take a big chunk out of the lead between first and second. Well, he did somewhat. He gained seventy-one points on on the um, after the race at Phoenix. Though he's now sixteen points behind Jessica Shelton. So Rogers could take second place in the points the way if things shake out the way things are going. So Rogers actually close behind for second place in the points. Coming into Atlanta, though, he, he is still he is mathematically in contention for the championship. However, he's still kind of a long shot, like Shelton is in some ways. You know, those two kind of need to, you know, what Rogers kind of needs is for both Kyle Matthews and Jessica Shelton to, Shelton to both have problems and finish way down the bottom of the pack. And Rogers basically go on for a top five finish and therefore for, for, for him to have him win the championship. But as of right now, he's on the high side. And whoa, right there, Seth Cole's is in the inside along with Kev Shearer and Zach Rogers three wide and meantime Rogers Shelton and Matthews all up on the high side Seth Cole sought, or I should say Kev Shearer's caught in a sucker hole in the middle now falls in behind Matthews and all this is is letting Nathan Hudson just pull ahead and lead this race On board now with Kyle Matthews, the number nine Meliella Pontiac. Third and third and fourth turns they come here as Johnny Gardner now goes by him. Up ahead of him, Mike Becker in the 43 STP Pontiac. That's the ride that Matthews is going to drive next season in season 28. <coughs> Matthews will be driving the number 43 STP Punnick. If Mike, if Mike Becker wants the ride, he's if Mike if Mike Becker wants the, the number seven seven eleven Chief Auto Parts Ford that like Kyle Petty drove in eighty four, that's going to be the, his ride next season as well as, as well. So some switching going on for this for the next for this up and coming season for season twenty of the Castrol GTX Cup Series. Matthews right now dropping back spots for the time being, but still remains ahead of Shelton at this point. Meantime, Seth Coles now pulled up, pull up to the back bumper of Nathan Hudson for the top spot now. Seth Coles been close, but no cigar this season a couple of times as far as trying to get a, as yet as far as trying to take a victory. This season, and Seth looking to try to get the lead for the first time this season. This race here, nope. Fall short uh, at the line though, as Hudson led the last time by, but now Seth Cole 
pulls ahead by about a half a car length, and now Hudson comes back on the outside trying to get a run on the back stretch. High side, the high side, yeah, the high line is the longest way around the track, yes, but it gives you more momentum and more straightaway speed at the same time. And here comes Hudson on the outside. We see what we you see what we're talking about right there. Seth led the last time by, but Hudson's stay, able to stay with him and Johnny Gardner both. Dylan Pochi up the fourth position now in car number 22. Third to third and fourth turns they come here. Johnny Gardner, car number 16 to the low side of the track here, trying to take the lead from Seth Cole. And now, meantime, Zachary Fitzwater tries to make a three wide for third position. Now it's Hudson of the track. Dylan Poteet's gone by him in 22. Poteet's car next season is going to be a Buick next season. It's going to have Miller High Life as a sponsor on his car, on the number 22 car. And here comes Cole Deaver. Where did he come from in the number three GM Goodrent Chevy? There is Deaver, the Southern 500 winner at Darlington this season. He also won at New Hampshire on the flat one-mile racetrack. Down the back stretch into turn number three. Deaver tries for that, tries for position now. He gets by Hudson, now tries to get by 22 car of Dylan Poteet. It is still Seth Coles, Johnny Gardner, and Zachary Fitzwater in the top three spots right now. Gardner has not has won, we mentioned twice this season. His last win earlier this season at the day race at Bristol. That was that was way back that was way back, I think, in the seventh or eighth race of the season. I forget which, but <clears throat> But Johnny's got a fast car here. He qualified Paul at Phoenix, the last race on the tour. And it looks to the low side, tries to take the lead from Seth Cole, who's going to lead this lap. Seth looks like he's going to have it by about a half a car length. But when you get into turn number one, it's going to be Johnny Gardner with the, with, the, with the preferred group on the inside lane. And he's got the advantage by a half a car length now over Seth Cole as they come through turns number one and two. As they come down the back stretch now, it's going to be Fitzwater pulling behind Gardner, trying to get a draft off of him. And you're looking at a speed right there. He, they're, they're hitting 204 miles an hour going into turn number three, down to those lowest 182. In the middle of three and four, and then comes off the corner at over 190 miles an hour. And I yeah, saw 205 blink out of Johnny Gardner going into turn number one. But Zachary Fitzwater is going to take the lead. And I hear Gardner led the lap, but Fitzwater pulls ahead and now takes the lead in number 59 car. But here comes Cole Baker, the man who shocked them all at Charlotte in the Melly Yellow 500. He won that race. His first ever win. He's in and could and it may have a pretty good chance of going for number two to uh, the season. And here comes number forty-three, Mike Becker. He here, Mike Becker. Mike Becker has not. Uh, right, Mike Becker, however, has not been skunked this season. He won at Pocono back in about the middle of the season. And Becker slot three wide, going to go three wide for the second position now. Makes it work between him, Baker, and Gardner. And Charles Sanford comes with him in the 03 Coca Cola Vanilla Chevrolet. And, Gar and there comes Charles to the low side. He's got Zach Rogers and Seth Cole behind him. And give a shout out to the number 84 car, Cassie Dent, in the number 84 um, Harley Quinn Suicide Squad machine. She is up to the top 10 now. And Cassie is currently last place in the points coming into this race. So it's not been a banner season for the Dent family, but. Trying to salvage something out of the season, though. I mean, uh, uh, at least. But um, Cassie looking pretty strong right now. She's in seventh position at the moment. She gets by Johnny Gardner. Now tries to get by Cole Baker at the same time in the 20 car. She's on the inside lane, though. So she's in So she's in a pretty good groove right now. Low side comes car number 84, Cassie Dent. She tries to get past the 43 car of Mike Becker. That is for fifth place. <clears throat> down through turns number one and two here and meantime battle for the lead developing between Zach Rogers and Zach Fitzwater here a pair of the Zachs going at it here Zach Rogers you remember won the won the first time he was at Atlanta the last back in the back in the fifth race of the season 
He also won in the road course at Riverside, California in the Burger King Dodge. Zach Rogers with another good season is guaranteed a top five finish in the points coming out of the, um, the season. He's finished top five the last three seasons seasons prior to the season. So he has so he has looked very strong and looks to be a top contender again next season for season 28, obviously. Maybe, obviously, I mean, it wouldn't be surprised if we see him in the battle for the championship as Seth Cole goes for the lead again. But here comes that 84 car we were talking about there, Cassie Dent to the third position now. She tries to get, she tries to push Seth up to the lead now. Right behind her, the 12 car of Mitchell Collins and the 18 car of Nathan Hudson, the pole server of the event. Dylan Poteet up there, Kev Shearer in 69. And Dylan Young in the two car. Your plans coming up in the air for Dylan Young next season. There's no number two car on the 1984 car set, by the way. And that's been the lucky number for Dylan Young, obviously, here. So, and Seth Cole led the last time by. He got pushed to the lead, coming off turn number four. But back to Dylan Young, though, he is he, there. He is um. He has had. A, there's no number two car for the 1984 car set, but he does. Um, but. Hopefully for him, he can um, he can try, he can try to get a ride next season. Obviously, <clears throat> through turns one and two they come here. Seth Cole holds on to the top spot. Dent up to second position now in the eighty-four machine, and Mitchell Collins in the twelve car up to trying to try to take, overtake Rogers for third position now. Take a look through the um. The field right here, Rob Evans moving his way through the field. Also, Trent Dunham at number one. He's currently sitting top ten. He's currently sitting tenth in the points coming in this race, the Brickyard 400 champion. But Seth Cole is 53 points behind him for that tenth position now. So Seth hoping for him at least that Seth has not finished. Uh, so Trent hoping for him at least uh, he does not finish enough positions ahead of Seth. Uh, the Seth does not finish ahead of finish, finish enough. As Seth has not finished enough positions ahead of Trent to try to take to take that 10 position away from him. Trent right now currently sits, uh, currently sits in the 14th position right now, the number one Sega Chevrolet. Keith Batson right by here behind him. Batson currently sitting number four in the points coming into this race. But he had Charles Sanford uh, on his tail for that number four position here. In fact, Charles is moving his way up. Is, is, uh, in fact, uh, in fact uh, Charles about to lose a spot to Batson almost at uh, the line. And also right there, behind, and also, uh, on, also trying for that top five position is number 99, Levi McIntyre. There is Levi in the number 99, Marvel Studios, WWE, Zeb Bellringer, Ford. Levi running 18th right now. He's won twice. We mentioned this season he won at Nashville. He also won at Watkins Glen. And Levi looking to find a ride next season as well too in the number 99 machine. And Cole Baker almost wanted to move to the low side, but Kate Anderson was right there too in the number 18 car. Then a breakout season for Kate though. As remember she won. As you may remember she stunned them all at the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Won that event. And she almost won her second race this season when she won at Talladega Super Speedway, but got snookered on the last lap of that event as you ride on board with Kate Anderson in number 88. She's running 17th right now at the moment, trying to get by Mike Becker and following Levi McIntyre, number 99. You're reading all the WWE logos right there on the back of McIntyre's car. Raw, SmackDown, NXT, yep, yeah, basically about almost everything else. Riding now with Kyle Matthews in car number nine. He is running in 24th position right now. He's in fact right behind Cole Deaver in car number three. Trying to make some headway up through the field right now. And now see where Jessica Shelton's at right now. Shelton's on the high side. She is currently clocked in the 34th position. So Shelton. She's won in Atlanta before, though, but she, uh, at the same time, hates this track in some ways, too. So, 
She's got kind of a love-hate relationship with Atlanta Motor Speedway, but... <clears throat> but she's not on the inside line, trying to make some headway through the field now. She's right there behind the uh, 89 car, Quentin Moore, and ahead of the 52 of Mason Wood, who's now about to pull to the inside of Shelton to take position away. And there's the car bringing out the caboose, Ryan George. And speaking of Ryan George, here's his uh, leader. There's his leader of the team, Kev Sheeran, 69. He's now gone to the lead. Dylan Poteet to the low side now of Seth Culper to second position. Dylan Young is, is behind him. Trent Dunham in number one. You got the two Dylans now hooking up, trying to get past the 69 car, and they will do so. Here comes Poteet to the low side. Poteet won once last season. He liked, he liked to salvage it off with a win this with a win that cap off this season. Poteet, of course, is the very first champion of this series. Won, won the championship back in season number one in the Caterpillar Dodge. And here comes the other Dylan. Dylan Young to the low side here as he goes to, as he tries to get past Shear. A little Wawa versus Sheets going on here. Can't resist to say that every time you got the Poteet, every time you got Young and Shear side by side, Poteet leads by about a half a car over Cap Shear. But when you get into turn number one, it's going to be. Dylan Poteet out, out front by about a, by about a car length over the tw over the two car of a Dylan Pot a Dylan Young. <laughs> Through turns three and four they come here. You got the Dylans one two right now. Poteet in first, Young in second. Dylan Young's only one came on a mile and a half at Homestead, Miami Spirit. Kind of a sister track to Atlanta. In the meantime, we got Trent Dunham up to the number three spot now. The winner of the Brickyard 400 Indy. He's looking for his second victory of the season. Mitchell Collins, however, he won a duel race at Lime Rock. And he's looking for his first, well, non-dual win, I should, I should say, this season. I'm not going to miss doing the dual, doing the, uh, dual points races. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to miss doing that. <coughs> Only dual race that will be coming back from here on out. It's going to be the it's going to be the Gatorade 125 qualifiers at Daytona to kick up the kick off season before prior to the Daytona 500. Keith Batson moving his way past uh, Collins now as Charles Sandberg moves low, tries to get past him, and here comes Charles to the low side, tries to get by Batson, and Batson uh, thought he was clear, and Charles. Says, out of the way, Keith, I want to go. And then, in the meantime, Dylan Young's now going to the lead now. And number two, as he as he, as he he takes Trent down with him, now here comes Trent to the low side, looking for the lead himself. Trent Dunham trying to take Sonic the Hedgehog up to the top spot now. As they come off turn number four, D Dylan Young leads that lap, and we're already down to 12 laps to go on the season. This race has gone by really, really quick. Hundred and ninety nine point two five one miles on the fast lap race that was set by Taylor Gertis in the forty one car. Top four cars actually over one hundred ninety nine miles per hour faster when they qualify. They were averaging over, they're averaging almost one hundred ninety six miles per hour right now. In the meantime, Charles Sanford goes to number two spot now, and now he's trying to gun down Dylan Young in number two. Matt McIntyre making his way through the field here. Mitchell Collins. And where did Kat Batson come from in the 70 car? There she is. Kat now trying to get by her husband, Keith, for position now. You remember, of course, Kat won the Holly Farms 400 at North Wilkesboro a couple races ago. Her first win of the season. As she now tries to get tries to, tries to get by Mitchell Collins in the 12 car. In the meantime, three wide back there. Johnny Gardner, Jesse Turner, and Seth Cole. Through turns three and four, they come here. Seth has the back off. Jesse Turner goes by him, but in the meantime, Johnny Gardner gets by him both as they come off the fourth corner. Nine laps remaining.
In meantime, three wide now as as, as Levi McIntyre st gets stuck on the high side now. Zach Rogers gets by him. Rogers running in 21st position. Way things are, way positions are going right now, though he looks like he may it looks like he's gonna take second position away from Jessica Shelton in the points coming out of the race at coming out of this race though. Shelton's in 38th position. Kyle Matthews is in is in 35th right now. So it's looking like if nothing changes, Kyle Matthews, Kyle Matthews is going to be your champion. If nothing changes, though, but and the second place is going to is going to is going to change hands after this race here. But now, if uh, Rogers can, can pick up enough positions now, though, he might be in good shape. We're still six laps from the finish of this race now. So stranger things have happened here in, in the in the Casual G Dix Cup series. But range but but now um Rogers of course now it's not stuck on the high side and he's about to get passed once again by the rest of the field. Meantime, Dylan Young leads, but here comes number fourteen. It is Matt McIntyre to the top spot. And Matt McIntyre now, now making a case for for to take the win here. Cat Batson behind him. Rob Evans in the 19 car is up to the top five now, but nope, not anymore. He's not. As now Cole Baker goes by, and here comes Fitzwater. He's now he's not out of this yet neither. Neither is Cole Deaver in car number three. <clears throat> five laps to go. Side by side, it's a drag race between the two and the 14. A pair of Fords going at it. One's One's kind of a reddish orange and the other is a is black with a splash of red, yellow, and blue on it. Through turns number one and two, Cat Batson now lugs low, tries to get by Charles Samber and Dylan Young meantime. He falls in behind Matt McIntyre for the top spot now. And here comes Young for the top spot now for the lead. They're side by side of the start finish line. It's going to be Matt McIntyre by about a couple of feet leading that lap. But here comes Young to the low side. Three to go. Now what's going to happen on the backstretch here? Cat Batson looks low. He's, she's got Cole Baker behind him. Both of them looking for their second... Actually, this, actually, those three are looking for their second victories of the season. As is also Zachary Fitzwater in a 59 car. Two laps to go. Cat Batson trying to close up behind the number, 50, the number 70. Does she have anything for Dylan Young here? But nope. Here comes Cole Baker. Going to spoil that form to the low side. He's got Fitzwater behind him in the 59 car. And that's just letting Dylan Young just pull away now. White flag waves on the season for the Napa Know How 500. Dylan Young in car number two. Leads the field down as they go through turns number one and two. Cole Baker trying to mount a charge in car number 20. Head off into turn number three here. Dylan Young. Keeps that car on the bottom of the racetrack here. Cole Baker trying to close up a little bit as they go through turns number three and four. And off the fourth turn they come, and the Napa Know How 500 belongs to Dylan Young. He wins in Atlanta. Dylan Young wins the Napa Know How 500 and closes out the season with a big victory in the number two Miller Light in the number two Miller Ford. His second victory season. He won at Homestead earlier this season. Cole Baker's going to come home in second position. Third will go to Zachary Bitswater. Cat Bats in fourth. Cole Deaver in fifth. Matt McIntyre sixth. Charles Sanford seventh. Eighth will go to Johnny Gardner. Rob Evans ninth. And Mike Becker from 40th position finishes... Uh, actually, no, Mike Becker actually didn't start that far back. Excuse me. Mike Becker from way back finishes in 10th position. Average speed 194.889 miles per hour.
So a big victory here today for Dylan Young as he takes the victory in the Napa Know How 500. Close the season out. We gave it the top 10 already. Mitchell Collins comes home in 11th position. Joshua Osborne, 12th. Dylan Poteet, 13th. Seth Cole comes home 14th. Trent Dunham, 15th. Cassie Dent, 16th. Keith Batson comes home 17th. 18th, we'll go to Angel Navarro. 19th, we'll go to Kev Shear. 20th, to Jesse Turner. 21st, we'll go to Tyler Deaver. 22nd, Levi McIntyre. 23rd will be Nathan Hudson. 24th, we'll go to Matt Haas. Zach Rogers comes home in 25th and looks like he will be second place in the points now coming out of this race at Atlanta. We'll give you a little points review as, as, the, as the at the end of this video. Uh, Kate Anderson was 26th. 27th was Taylor Durtis. 28th, Jordan Anderson. 29th, Jake Emerson. 30th was Phil Parker. <coughs> Quentin Moore, 31st, and Jay Jefferson. Mason Wood, Ty Dent. Nikki Martinez was 36th, William Brock 37th, Jessica Shelton 38th, not the run she wanted, but Ryan George 39th, and Kyle Matthews was dead last in this race. But despite that, <laughs> despite that, Kyle Matthews is still going to be your Season 27 Series champion, despite finishing dead last at Atlanta. I'm sure, that's not, I'm, sure that's, I'm sure that's not how Kyle wanted to end his season, but... But as long as he, but as long as he keeps the number, but but if the official results means he keeps the number one spot, then I think everything's gonna be. Uh, then I'm sure everything's okay for Kyle. But still, um, it's about what a it's about what a forty some odd point spread from twenty fifth to fortieth. So, uh, so not really enough points to be lost here. But we'll give you a points review as as the uh, in, at the end of this video here. But uh, we will get, we'll, in fact, we'll be back for the points uh, review right after this.